Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to look into two DAX functions, is filtered and is in scope. How these functions are different and when to use is in scope and when to use is filtered. Let's uh, quickly understand what these functions are, how they work and which one to use when. Let's get to Power BI. So here in Power BI, I have a simple uh, a table visual with a, with a slicer uh, based on country and state and the country uh, and then the state underneath it. So I created two Myers sales and the first sales date. Uh, first sales date is just a simple Myer gave us the uh, the the first sales date. If we are at the country level, then see the first sale date of the country, otherwise of the state. So until this point, everything is perfectly fine. The question came up, okay, I want to see the first sales date only at the country level, but not at the uh, state level. So I don't want to see the first sales date at, um, you know, at the state level. So the, so what's the way? This is where the is filtered and, um, is in scope come in the picture so let's uh, first look into the is filtered so i'm going to create um, a new measure call it uh, uh, first sales date uh, based on is filtered so what we're going to do is we're going to use the if condition if is filtered so the is filter function take, can take table name or the column name as the parameter if depending on what you want we want it to be a in this particular case we want it to be based on the column name because we want it to be if the state column is filtered uh, then don't show the date otherwise show the date so we can say if is filtered state which is coming from the geography table let's uh, put the table name geography dim geography state if the state column is filtered then don't show anything so that's a blank or we can do other way around we can say if not is filtered actually we should do this if not is filtered state then give the first sales date and uh, let's this is the end of the if so let's put this measure in here as well we call it first sales date is filtered all right so, so let's see what happens here uh, bring it a little bit down so here you go so this works perfectly fine so what we uh, what we're doing here is we said okay if uh, let's go back to the measure again if geography state is not filtered then only show the date column so it means in this particular in the row context which get converted transition to the filter context so in this particular case uh, the the state is filtered and the, that's why we are getting the blank value so this is doing perfectly fine how uh, let's let me change it to date and time so that we're not seeing the uh, show date a long time with it uh, so let's uh, create is in scope as well. So I'm going to take the same measure and uh, let's create another one called first sales date is in scope. In scope. So what we're going to do here is we can say if is in scope geography country then show the sales date otherwise don't show it so it's pretty much uh, what we did in uh, in the previous case uh, and more or less the same thing so let's see what does this give us so in this case this did not work the reason behind that is when we are using the is in scope dim geography country in this particular case at the state level the country is also in the scope so that's why this did not return so we we, we need to revert this our um our uh, is in scope so what we're going to say is 
if not is in scope the similarly what we did for the is filter then only show the first sales date so let's see what happens here now here you go so this worked as well so this is uh, perfectly fine so the question comes down to is why i should use is fil filtered over uh, is in scope that's that's the uh, problem that's the question we want to answer i'm going to remove these two new measures which i created but want to show uh, something different here uh, i created two measures already called is in scope so that measure is is in scope whether dim geography state is in scope and uh, i i drop that in the visualization here so, and then also I created is filtered state. So if we look at these two measures, so what we are in the is filter state is, uh, let's first uh, look at the measure. So I said is filtered dim geography state as and is in scope. I said is in scope dim geography state. So this works perfectly fine at the Australia level. Is in scope state? No. So that's false. Is filter state? No. So that's why it's false. And when we are at the state level, so this is giving true. So these both are working perfectly fine. Again, we saw with the measure with the first sales date, they both return the values. They work fine. So again, the question is why uh, we use one over another. But here is why you want to use is in scope then is filtered if this is what you are trying to achieve. So I'm going to quickly show you guys a use case. So let, if we filter the country, so both is in scope state are giving me false. Our original measure, uh, let me bring those measures as well so that we can look at the is filtered and is in scope as well. So we are getting the result. This is perfectly fine. This is where the things is going to fall apart. And this is where the is in scope is better solution that is filtered if i end up filtering on state from my slicer so outside filter coming to the visual look at that when we are is in scope everything is working perfectly fine as you can see first sales date on the is in scope is working but is filtered is not working anymore because look at that is filter state at the country level the value is true and that means what it is telling is that the state has been selected is filtered state is filtered and we said if the state is filtered then do not return the first sales date and that is the problem but is in scope does not matter it is checking whether the state or country is in scope so again uh, going back to uh, first sales date is filtered. What we said is if dim geography state is not filtered, then give the first sales date. But because through the slicers, we filtered the state and this made it false. And that's why we went into the false condition and it did not return any value. So but is in scope work so end of the day if you have to be really careful whether you want to use the is filtered or is in scope because at the if we have if we are not filtering the state from the outside through the matrix from the row contacts it worked perfectly fine but if it get filtered from somewhere else uh, that's through the slicer or the filter or the cross filter from the different visual it will not work so is in scope is a better solution at that point of time. If you're trying to solve something like this, whether conditionally you want to show the measure value and whatnot. I hope you learned, um, you know, how is filtered and is in scope is different and how they behave differently depending on it. it uh, uh, at the first level, if you don't have a slicer or a filter on the page, just a simple matrix visual and the hierarchy, the way it's what original, everything should work doesn't matter whether you use is filtered and is in scope as soon as the filter was applied on the state column from a slicer or some other means it will the result will be totally wrong and then it would not work 
Let me know what you guys think about this video. I hope you learned uh, how these two functions are different. Until next video, have a great day. Do subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.